Hello everyone, welcome to today's live stream. Um, yeah, we have a super awesome live stream today. We are about 38 minutes away. This is the DART or double asteroid redirect test from NASA and like loads of other partners have joined up with this. But in the uh, left hand corner down there, this little black thing, that is the live DART uh, view. Um, and what I'm actually going to do, I'm going to make my, uh, my little talk thing, I'm going to put that a bit smaller, so you guys can actually see the whole thing. Alright, I've got to keep doing this to make it smaller. There we go. So now you guys can actually see that. I want to say this is the reason why I don't like NASA. The quality of this video. This is, you know, these cameras that they've videoed on are at least 1080p. Yet they can't even stream it in 1080p. Like, I can't see what's stopping them from going to 1080p. Now most people now, yes, okay, most people are probably going to be viewing on mobile phones and tablets and stuff like that. But then there are the, still the people that are, you know, viewing like, you know, on a computer. You know, a lot of people have computers now. So, uh, right, I'm going to get the audio for uh, theirs. And we'll see what they're saying. There we go. This would be enough of a deflection. It's like a bittersweet moment. Yeah, all this hard work just got Oh, the audio sounds horrible as well. All the endeavors that we do for space and in space. This is probably uh, one of the ones I don't know if you guys can hear that, but it's like a, a fud sound. It's really in muddy. Future, I hope that Dart can teach us what ways work and what ways don't work for planetary defense. Because it is oh, that's awful. The first demonstrations that we have gained the knowledge and the technology to be able to protect the Earth uh, from uh, an asteroid impact. This just sounds really awful. It looks awful. Space exploration is rooted in pushing past boundaries. Remember, tonight is a test, and we hope to make impact. Now that you've learned of the challenges of today's test, let's Ooh. look back to mission operations and get a status update on Dart's real-time progress. Samson, how are we looking? Hey, Samson. Hey, Figaro. We have 30 minutes to go until impact. Thank you. So far, so good. SmartNav is now targeting the more focused thrusters are firing and maneuvering the spacecraft. Draco, Dark Eye, playing paparazzi with uh, the oh my day. providing SmartNav with about 18 minutes per second. And this is a good time to remind you that what you're seeing on the Draco feed is delayed by about 45 seconds on account of signal delay and image processing. And wow. Tonight, we're about to see the team conduct a final poll, one last schedule contact to make sure that all systems are go. And if we head to that, I have someone with me who knows a thing or two about ensuring spacecraft readiness and integrity. Betsy Condon, Dart Mechanical Systems Engineer. Betsy, thank you so much for joining me. Thank you. So you led the team that literally put Dart together. Is that right, Betsy? Yeah, so the, my job is to make sure the engineers and the technicians all physically put all these boxes that you've been hearing, bolted them all, nice. all onto a spacecraft all together. I gotta ask this. Uh, mission so ambitious. How many hours, how many years, how many people? Do you have any idea of this? Oh, man. So, I mean, DART has been thought about for a long time, but that's about five Ooh. years ago. We started building up the spacecraft and, you know, in that uh, assembly that I was talking about, about two, two and a half years ago. Um, and so it's been hundreds of hours, you know, to make something like this possible. People with all sorts of talents. You've seen a lot of them uh, today. Yeah, you can actually make out another status update as I said earlier, and as we uh, all know, two? it's a unique and challenging environment. When you were assembling Dart, what were the key boxes you were checking off of that 
very long quality assurance list to get the spacecraft to where it is right now, and hopefully it will be fine. So space is very hard, and so what we do is each individual component, Lisa was talking about this earlier, goes through its own individual testing, and then we put the whole spacecraft together, and we will check out the electrical system, making sure all the boxes are working and talking to each other. We put it into a vacuum chamber, make sure it's going to work in space, put it through all the different temperatures it's going to see, and then put it on a shaker table and actually uh, mimic launch. And so it actually goes through all of that as That's a whole space cool. as well as individual components. So we go through a lot of testing, mission operations, uh, mission simulations, to get to this point. Incredible. I mean, I don't know if you included you uh, mentioned so much array. Is that also accounting for the temperature fluctuations in space? It's another key part. Yeah, so the um, we have chambers here at APL that are specially built to take these spacecraft, put them into the vacuum of space, and run them through the temperature cases that we're going to actually see. Well, how many times do you check? Is it like one test and we're done, or is it like <laughs> testing and testing? Lots and lots of testing, and that's what makes it, you know, so perfect. We're seeing these great images coming in uh, because of all that testing and all that work. So, you know, you don't do anything once. You're doing it many times because once it's in space, there's not a lot of ways to fix it. Right. But do you ever, you know, think about that one panel, that one component that gave you a little bit of heart when in the clean room and you're up and I thinking, I think that thing is going to pull through. I'm That's quite funny. Everything, <laughs> everything is looking really good. I will say, you know, we have a lot of new technologies. It's really exciting. The Rosa Solaris had never been integrated onto a spacecraft before. And so that was like a challenge, but one the team was up for, and now it's all ready and working perfectly. All these new technology demonstrations, and it only adds to the complexity of this mission and to, you know, testing things, I wouldn't say even more so, but it's, it's just as uh. critical with new technology, everything has to be so to make sure it can... Yeah, I mean, all done. of this new technology requires extra testing, but that just gains confidence. You know, you're seeing the team working through that, working through all these mission sims, so... Um, that's really what makes it exciting. You don't want to just do the same thing over and over. This is what makes APL a special place. We build these special spacecraft that, you know, have never been done before. It's got to be a little bit of sweet that a spacecraft you poured heart and soul into is about to swing into an asteroid. Hey, Rich. How are you feeling about that? I'm feeling great about uh, it. It was designed to swing into the asteroid. It's, it's meeting its destiny. So it's really exciting to see. Um, and I can't wait for impact. What is it serving a purpose? I guess that's what Okay, for some reason, exactly. the uh, text to speech is not working. It's definitely getting closer, you can definitely see it. Final poll of the evening. Right, I need to just make sure that my text to speech is set up properly. Edit destinations, destinations there, public, save. Okay, I don't know why toggle on. It's on. Oh, I don't know. Something's up with this. I can't seem to find where the settings are to change the voice, to change anything like that on the text to speech. Oh, here we go. That final poll. This is Dart MSC on DC Mock. It is time for the last batter poll. Yes. Oh, here we go. Jeez, so, seven thousand right, miles. Um, image quality. How are we doing? Still looking very good. Uh, Dimorpho is still tracking along that same brightness predict as Didyma. That's great. All right. Look at <laughs> yes, thank you. Okay. All right. I don't know what's going on there, but. Yeah, DNC also looking good. We've we've been very excited to use those terms. So. 
<laughs> wait a long time. Oh, this is great. Autonomy? Autonomy is green. The heaters are cycling nominally, and we said no new uh, fault delay mm -hmm. signs. Okay, wonderful. DSN. DSN is green, and ESA is green. Got plenty of margin. Looks good. All right, ground system. Ground system has been helping a few users manage clients, but everything's going fine there, and we are green. Yes, wonderful. Thank Damn. you, guys. Complete the poll. Um, yeah, give me a round of applause. Last one. Last one. All right, so Didymos is looking like itself. Let's see what Demosis is looking like, too. Uh, in the meantime, we're going to transition to precision lock at 20 minutes. That's our next milestone. So thanks all. Nice. Hi, Samson. Hi, Lena. That sounded very positive. How's it going in there? Oh, it's going great. It's going great. We've locked on uh, Demorphus. We're maneuvering towards it, and uh, yeah, everything is looking really good. We are. Um, we were at the time of the poll within just a few meters of projected miss distance, which means we were hitting. Uh, towards the center, and at this point, we're you know coming back there about 30 meters off the center nice. of the left portion of the morphus as of right now. We've executed two burns, and everything's looking on track. Well, that's that's mad. Awesome. Thanks so much for that, and good luck on the final stretch. Thank you, thank you. Have a good one. Hi, right, Jesse. We had that very positive poll, lots of fantastic lots of clapping. We heard Lena in a very positive mood. How are you feeling? I'm feeling great. It's amazing to see like the actual dots on the screen for real coming down these days. <laughs> okay. any, any words it, for the I don't know why, I mean, but NASA's job. live stream and, uh, just reminds me of like an old early 2000s sort of broadcast, like back when the space shuttle was, you know, flying. It is 2022. And they're still running 720p live streams. It just looks awful. Like, look at the writing up here. Like, it's so pixelized. It looks trash. You know, if they want more people to get into space and that, you know, I'm in my 30s. I can't find this horrible. You know, kids in their, you know, teenagers, they're going to look at this and go, oh, what, what the hell? Or is that just me being privileged because I have 4K everything? <laughs> oh, if I sound sick, I've got a head cold. Um, in the evenings, I tend to get all bunged up. Um, I do have a doctor's appointment soon, so I'll find out. I, I'm pretty sure it's long COVID, but we'll see. It's the brains. <coughs> so yeah, that's what it's going to look at. It's going to look at two, two big, uh, two, well, not big, six kilometers a second. Jeez. So it's... So miles per hour. So that's three thousand. Three thousand seven hundred and twenty-eight miles per hour. That is mad. Mad, mad, mad. Okay, four. Okay, that's lower than. Oh yeah, four miles per second. Yeah. Okay, here we go. It's 8,948 miles per hour. 
that's mental. Like, you could get around the Earth in, what, two, three hours. Damn. This is going to be crazy. I actually can't believe down there they've got a live view from the actual satellite itself. Like, that's mental. It, it's the movie just don't look up it's crazy crazy you're mental I know I am mental ah it's working now okay it's working <laughs> I have no idea how that worked but it worked Do I have to have that second? Do I need that second window open, obviously, to get the chat working? That's so weird. Yeah, 21 minutes into impact. So it's actually going to be hitting this little one here. It's going to lock in. Whew. I was gonna say, could you imagine you've worked so long on it, something like this? You're just intentionally gonna crash something into, you know, a giant bit of rock in in space. Mental. Ooh. Oh, okay. So they're actually going to go on the big one. And now they're going to switch over to the little one. Okay. This is, is so mad to think what they're about to do. Like, it's so far away from Earth that, you know, there's a 45 second delay in the uh, images coming from the spacecraft due to just how far away and, like, image processing, all that sort of stuff. Oh, here we go, here we go. They expect to, or they are. Oh. Oh, man, Here we go. Come on. Come on. It looks so cool. It just looks like two little, well, one big white dot and then one little tiny dot. It's mad to think this. The little one is the side of a football stadium, and the big one, I think they said, was as large as San Francisco or something like that. It, it's not a small thing, you know. And they're taking a 500 gram uh, thing, and they're just going to smash it into it. Nice. So I'm trying to think, 500 grams, what have I got that's 500 grams? Was it 500 kilos? I can't remember. Yeah, 500 ki kilograms, I think. Right, here we go. So its weight is its six foot long, the actual satellite. Uh, three, oh, three foot uh, diameter. 
800 pounds. Oh, I am. Okay. I am. It's not telling me. Oh, here we go. Wow. I got full measurements. Uh, here we go. So it's 610 kilograms. So just over half a ton. That's mad. Now we can't say this enough, and I know you've said it so many times, but it's worth repeating for viewers that the Morpho is not used just for Earth. <laughs> That is that is pretty mental. That so seven million miles away. Okay, that. Uh, <laughs> a bit of a creepy. Oh, here we go. What? V-I-P-Y dot com forward slash planetary defender. Take the quiz and receive a certificate like this one. Now, once it's official, show us on social media. Oh my god, I'm so going to do it. I'm going to do it. Class <laughs> name, they are saying. Oh, I don't know. This is established by the to identify and track near Earth objects. This is Lowell Observatory. Lowell is one of many observatories around All of the above. Yeah, there we go. NASA's first ever planetary defense test mission to see how much a spacecraft turn that down. Right. What is the name of the first mission conducted? Double asteroid redirect test. How many asteroids are there in the day? Two. What will DART's mission aim? Oh, yeah, we're, we're getting through this. How many bloody questions are there? Jeez. Oh, ten, ten questions. Okay. Uh, I would love to have one of these in my back garden. If I won the Euro Millions or if I won the lottery, I am buying one of them and sticking it in my back garden. <laughs> After I, like, build a house on a, a hill somewhere. Uh, right. Momentum. Dart will be trying. How will it be able to? Right. Two more questions left. Oh, miles. Yeah, there we go. And last one. I might have a thing here after Dart's impact. How will we know successfully shove the probe on the? Dart is really a sort of before and after experiment. We need to understand 
Let's show that if we use test codes to measure the change change in time it takes. Oh! Oh, I could be able to successfully shot. Oh, need a hint. Oh, I'm not doing that. Bloody hell, I've got to read some, like... I'm just going to take a guess on it. Uh, so the question is, after Dart's impact, how will we know if the spacecraft successfully shoved Dimorphis and it's changed the asteroid's motion in space? So, a secondary spacecraft will be sent. No. It's the... Yes, I got it. Sweet, I got every question right. Right. I am a planetary defender. Here we go. I have a badge. Download your certificate. Hey! I have a certificate. Oh man, I'm. S <laughs> that is mad. Eleven minutes away. <laughs> Dart was intended to be destroyed. That is mad. This is going to be mad. Such a pleasure to have you. Oh my gosh, I am so excited to be here and really happy that we are here in the final 10 minutes. We are almost there. Well, you were just in the thick of it with the team up until a few minutes ago. What is the atmosphere like from there? I can only imagine. It's really, it's, it's great. I mean, they're excited. They're excited. Um, there's a marker that we meet a milestone, everyone is cheering and very excited, but there's also almost a sense of a calm confidence that with every milestone, everything's going, you know, as planned. Uh, we were found and we locked on the, the target as planned, pretty much at the right time. Uh, they're looking at the brightness and the reflectivity of the object, and, and it's more or less what they expected. Um, everything is performing as expected, and so there's a lot of cheering and happiness, but it is mad. You can hear applause left and right throughout this evening, all good signs. What are they focused on at this critical juncture, Lori? It is basically years of planning, 10 months of making sure we get to this point after launch, and they've been juggling a lot. Is there anything in particular that they are glued on as we enter this? Well, making sure it hits yeah, so it. The main thing they've been watching is, you know, getting to that point where we could do the precision lock, where we had good enough signal coming back and enough confidence in where we are relative to Dimorphos that we could really do that precision lock onto the target. We hands off now, right? We're not, you know, the, the spacecraft is going to drive itself. And 
flying really itself. Drive itself. And they're also thinking about looking at and reassessing continuously what's the probability of miss, right? As you get closer and closer, that so probability gets smaller and smaller. And it is. It's getting, it looks really, really good right now. So I think the game of thinking, of wondering, really doesn't end until that last second comes to pass. So they can do a lot of great up until this point. We just have to see this through to these last few minutes. <laughs> well, and I'm sure they're so tired. Time. All the years of thinking, of doing, planning, reacting is finally coming to an end. From five minutes to impact there will be no more opportunity to send any commands to SmartNav in the Mission Operations Center. The team will be purely spectators. Yeah, literally, it's a farewell ride right after like, like a few minutes in. Time. Sorry, this is huge both from an operational perspective and also an emotional one, isn't it? I mean, admittedly, they yeah, have so actually imagine, hit uh, an asteroid yeah, with another really with a spacecraft before, but the last the one was to actually collect um, soil and like the actual rocks so from the so uh, years, the actual so asteroid. Oh, I am so tired. Just gone twelve o'clock. I'm starting day six. Or six at work. At this point, there's not much else Ooh. they can do but watch and see the fruits of all their work. Yeah, I've gotten to know many members of this team over the past few months, and here we you know, go. There's a lot of alpha individuals on there, right? You need a good mix of alpha people to make sure we Look how big that is. I can imagine, I can only imagine what they're feeling. Perhaps, like you said, a little bit of relief, a little bit of, can I let this go? I have worked for this one so long, and now we no longer do anything that moment. Yeah, but I think they're ready. I think it's they're so mad. At that point, you know, I was, you're, you're getting some shots of Elena Adams, the, uh, the systems engineer, and you can see the excitement in her voice. She's so ready to, to show the success of this mission. <laughs> the, the funny thing is, could you imagine? Let's do this. And it just goes <laughs> straight past it. That'd be mad. will also step away, stop any maneuvers. It is blockbuster oh, yeah. stuff. This will be used like if they had like HD footage of this, which eventually we probably will develop some sort of HD, you know, interplanetary sort of system. Here we go. So it's aiming that for that little tiny one right there. That is what it's aiming for. There's the big one. So this little asteroid is orbiting this big one. It's it's mad. Drink of today is all uh, I forgot to say is Oasis Summer Fruits. The final command opportunity to SmartNav has passed and the team is simply watching that data streaming just as we are. Also remember, there is a 30 second, 38 second lag. 38 so seconds. To Earth and also an additional few more seconds for image offering. So it's about 45 seconds, I think they said, was the initial delay between it all. So. Should be hearing. Look at that. In the mission operations this is mad, like. We can't even get pictures of like feasts. Eleven hundred miles away and look at it. Oh, it's also, just mad. For any to the spacecraft is done. <laughs> Contingency is done. <laughs> That is that is crazy. Bloody Laura. You, I, I'm honing in looking at these images as we get closer and closer, and you look at Didymos, and just you're starting to see the this physical body appear there. It's incredible. It is it's pretty mad. Great. I'm still having a hard time believing this is real images from yeah, the Yeah, exactly. Real it's like when we saw yeah. the yeah, but you've been Mars rover. 
30, 45 minutes. Like, so from just being a collection of it was 30 minutes time. This is like 35 seconds. Of, of and so, same thing with it's crazy how they can do this sort so of stuff. Never before seen images of the more fossil deep. Yeah, these are being the only... Yeah, imagine if they miss it, definitely, yeah. That's the funny thing. Could you imagine it just flies straight past? Ah. There you go. <laughs> if it just, like, flies straight by. Or could you imagine if it was, like, really soft? like material so if it was just like grains of like dirt and it just plows straight through it that would be mad absolutely this will be i'm sure you've heard it many times tonight uh humanity's first ever ever attempt at trying to move another celestial body yeah just puts on the parking brake and we're like uh no back <laughs> Yeah, and I'm starting to see that. Oh, that's so funny. Come into view there, you can see it starting to take shape. I'm oh. starting to see individual boulders on Didymos. I was going to say, yeah, you can see. Unbelievable yeah. clarity of images there. Oh, yeah. Beep, beep. Be about beep, beep. Right. <laughs> so now it's actually going, it's getting ready to go past the All big one. On this event, space telescopes, ground telescopes from every continent on Earth. I was going to say, yeah, if you had like a access to a big, um, if you had a big, if you had a big telescope, like a huge building one, you would be able to see, th see this, well, you wouldn't be able to see it, but it would be very, you know, distinct. That's mad. Wow. So you're gonna go by loss of signal. We'll get that loss of signal, and then we'll hear from Lena Adams again. I wonder how far down we'd be able to see. Like, how low to the ground can it go before it uh, loses signal? More resolution. In fact, look at that. Didymos has even gone out of the view. Wow. <laughs> yes, Jupiter's right where well, it's been out for quite a while. Um, it's been really bright. I've got some good photos even using my phone. Oh, my phone goes see through. No, no, come on. We can do better than that. Starting to see those individual boulders there. You can see shadows of the various rocks on the surface. Wow, here we go. This is mad. Oh my goodness, look at that. Unbelievable. Yeah. Right, I'm going to turn off text to speech. Looks to me like we're headed straight in. There we go. Dude, look at that. That is mad. Look at the they're just about to wow. smash. Look at the rocks. Oh, yeah. oh, here we go. There's oh. Six, wow. Four, three, two, one. Wow, look at them rocks. Oh, wow. Awaiting visual confirmation. An impact. So there you go. All right. So it would have actually happened about 35, 40 seconds ago. That is mental. Oh, fantastic. Oh. Absolutely. Oh. What a moment. First mental. Really capture this moment. This is beautiful to watch. <laughs> Top of this maestro. Pretend it's a scene game. <laughs> <laughs> what a team. What a team and what an accomplishment. Uh, 
few weeks ago they had their last dress rehearsal. So that's it. Like they were getting emotional. That's their job rehearsal. done. Like, this is for now. And now it's just up to what they are feeling <laughs> you know, <laughs> looking around. Yes. Uh, see and they're on screen. They're all pretty excited. Wow. Hearing impact, the curtains close on Draco feed. That raw joy from the team, years of hard work and the weight of expectation lifted off their shoulders. Cousin, there's my son. This is amazing. Your nose is next face with tears of joy, face with tears of joy, face with tears of joy. Oh, I love you too, Mark. That is mental that they actually just done that. Do you know if they can get something up my nose to unlock it, I'll be very happy. That is, that is so cool. Now is when the science starts. It just starts now. Now that we've uh, impacted, now we're going to see for real how effective we were. We're going to train all of those ground-based telescopes um, on the Didymos Sun system, and we're going to make measurements that will help us yep. uh, determine. It's like one of the only spacecraft has ever been designed so to be crashed. Other than Challenger and uh, Columbia, <laughs> but yeah, it's very, very weird mission. I have to say. I'm trying to. Ah, here we go. Troublesmeister. I don't get all the fanfare people have been crashing for years we're, we're and they're happy about it. Yeah. Do you like that voice better? I've just changed the voice because I now found out how to do it. What an amazing thing. We've never had that capability before. Thank you so much, Lily. Those are poignant last words. Tahira, history has been made. Back to you. That is crazy. Wow. I mean, what an exciting day for the Dart team. And in it's early morning. Keeping score. Humanity won. Asteroids zero. Well, now, technically, we don't really know, but. Nancy, talk about a moment to catch on camera. What is going through your head right now? Yup, much I mean, better Tubble Smeister. Wow, cool, that that's amazing, good. I, mean, those I had it on the default one, not the English male. Talking about it for years at ATL here, we've been working on this since 2015. And I knew 2015. I Jesus. And they're going to be spectacular, and I think even then they exceeded my expectations of just zooming in like that. And uh, you know, it really is just such a team of people. Stanley K R U P I N S K I. Did they push it out of O2, it so we are. So this uh, asteroid doesn't actually pose any threats to Earth. It's basically just a test to see if they can move it out. Oh God, what are you doing, Martin? What are you doing? Trouble <laughs> Smeister. <laughs> yeah, so... Uh, Basically, it's just a test to see if we can do it. Obviously, they've just hit the uh, the rock, so they know it's you know at least happened. So now it's just testing, as I pointed out with the my microphone. So the little one basically orbits around the big one, and now this one orbits basically closest to us, and then they've moved this one. So now it goes out in an elliptical orbit like this and it will slowly pull it away from the earth basically so uh yeah hopefully uh in the next few months testing texas jesus christ double smeister testing text to speech oh you're such a pain in the butt <laughs> but yeah th that was pretty cool i'm quite glad that we actually got a decent um you know, we've got decent images of the ground. Like, you could actually see individual rocks, which is mental. So, I can't wait. There'll probably be screen, grab, uh, screen grabs from NASA. So, definitely will be looking at the NASA website. 
Oh, Bill Nye's there. Damn, that's crazy. We have 22 uh, people watching. Hello to everyone. And now it's gone under 19. And the decent streamer for one. <laughs> yes, yes, decent streamer. Not too bad. Bit of a head cold, but apart from that, I. Uh, it's now 22 minutes past 12 in the morning. I have one more day of work, and I think I'm going to get the bed in a sec. So I'm going to let them close out, and then we'll finish the stream. No, this idea come across because of movies like bloody uh, Armageddon and stuff like that. That's why they wanted to, you know, test it. Sci-fi movies create real opportunities for us. I'm not ill, it's just a head cold. That's all. It just... Yeah, it's not COVID this time. It's just a head cold. Um, pretty certain it's uh, long COVID, but, you know, we'll see. Oh. Who is it? Okay, I, I don't know. They're Paralympics. Oh, wow. They've already released images. Yeah. Wow. Tubble Smeister. All jokes aside, I think I've got that. Yeah, definitely. A lot of people, I think, have long COVID. Um, you know, I can have days where I feel absolutely fine. And then next day, I can feel like absolute trash. And it sort of goes around, sort of goes away, sort of in the middle of the day. And then it comes back. From the gym. Yeah. From the gym. The Jimmy, the Jimmy. <laughs> I think is that meant to be the Jubilee, but I don't know. Oh. Let's see what's going on. Oh, from the jab, right? Okay. Double Smeister, jab. <laughs> It's President Biden. Let's turn him up. It's been a successful completion of the first part of the world's first planetary defense test. This is pre-recorded. There were years of hard work. There were hundred percent. This is pre-pre-recorded. <laughs> and I believe it's going to teach us how one day to protect our own planet from an incoming asteroid. I really look forward to learning all about what's happening from the observatories. Double so Smeister. The guy should be Mormon. <laughs> so do you know you what? Yeah, I can see. Uh, so that's what it should do. Oh, it's gone now. Oh. Yeah, he does look like the president of the Mormon church. It really does. <laughs> Oh, he doesn't know he's back on. Oh, oh. That was Alice Wendy Foote, Administrator Nelson. Joining me right now are Deputy NASA Administrator Pam Nelson. Oh, that's and hilarious. Thank you both. I can't unsee that now. Now, President Biden, Biden uh, is a Mormon. How are you feeling having witnessed this historic event up close? Oh, I was absolutely elated, especially as we... Gosh, she's got some uh, bags under her eyes. ...that we're going to learn. But the best part was seeing at the end that there was no question there was going to be an impact and to see the team uh, overjoyed that they're successful. What so who is she? For NASA? What does this mean for planetary defense? I don't know who so she is. NASA works for the benefit of humanity. So for us, it's the ultimate fulfillment of our mission to do something like this, a technology demonstration that who knows someday could save our home. Very powerful. That's so very, yeah. Ralph, you're <laughs> not. 
we've seen a lot of major milestones in HL history in space. We're talking the first flyby of Pluto, the first mission to orbit Mercury, and now the first spacecraft to impact an asteroid. What was the moment like for you? <laughs> it, it was it was incredible. Hubble Smeister. My brothers and sisters, we've crashed so into an asteroid, and it's Bill Nelson, not Biden. <laughs> resulted in uh. a direct hit of Dimorphos was just an adrenaline rush. It's Bill um, Nelson, not Biden. That, uh, I've been at the lab uh? for quite a few years, and I've been involved in a lot of missions and achievements, and never before have I been so excited. Oh, right, yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm tired. Ignore me. <laughs> yeah, I know, I know, I know. That's uh, Trouble <laughs> the old guy. <laughs> the old guy. <laughs> so this is a replay of it now. Yes, I know he's NASA's chief. Yes, I. He's NASA chief. Because <sighs> he's a friend with Biden. And that's why all the oh wow look at that this is so they exactly put it together kind of so it's like a uh, to do. Uh, an actual done. video that is awesome um, I'd like to and a bang for entrusting us with this mission and I'd like to tell everyone how proud look at the rocks the you get that red bit off the screen for this game changing achievement incredible thank you Ralph and we are watching that replay right now on our screens and just. It looks so good. So obviously this is sped up um, a lot, and then when it gets down to the ground, blobs of light, light, and now they are real objects to us, which is amazing. That is crazy, because that's the thing you don't see. <laughs> Bang! Bang! And the dirt is gone. Trouble Smeister. Like one of your GoPros, tears of joy, tears of joy, tears of joy. <laughs> hey, you leave my GoPros alone. I have. Actually, where is it? I have one still going. Actually, I think I've got two going still. That is mental. Trouble Smeister. Oh no, that was lost. <laughs> Oh, look at that. Bang. That is crazy. Yeah, so this is the one that collected the soil from the asteroid. The dark impact is going to be an incredible moment, something we've been looking for for over 70 years. So is that My it? Name is Gian Carnelli, and I'm leading the Hera mission for the European Space Agency. So that's what it looks like. The deflection by DART will be measurable from ground with telescopes. However, only with Hera coming up close and inspecting the outer will I'm Okay, so this is Hera. This is the um mission if one day we need one. This is the propulsion module of the Hera spacecraft that will take us to asteroid Dimorphos. Night the oh, don't device. forget to like, comment and sub for more content and if you would like I have a donations page to help fund more videos and live streams anything will And now it's going to read out the colon slash slash streamlabs.com slash Shut up! I can't stop that from bloody being read out for some reason. Yeah, they're definitely one like. Oh, Trouble Smeister. I like how the fact they have carried on the stream. Yeah, they do. I think basically they like to like give all their credit out and stuff like that. They like to make it. Carlos. Now by Boston and Humor. Trouble Smeister. Not just it's finished, we're done. Yeah, that's like uh, NASA's, uh, not NASA, uh, SpaceX's ones are very funny. Right, what is that 
uh, Carlos, what was that? Let me have a look. Robson Carlos, by the notario. <laughs> Is that a, uh, a digger Biden? Uh, let's have a look. Google Translate. Tubble <laughs> Praise be to mighty Lord Elon of Musk. <laughs> it's not Muskville, it's Starbase. Here it is. This is what it is. Oh yeah, Lucy. Now don't miss a beat. For mission updates, follow Asteroid Watch on Twitter. Asteroid Watch on Twitter and Facebook. Remember, impact was just the beginning. Science and images oh. will be rolling in soon, so stay tuned to NASA.gov. That's mad. Tubble Smeister. When that red shows up, you look like the omen. <laughs> yes. Thank you. Oh god, that's br Twitter's blowing up right now. So someone's made a uh, Smeister. Damien. Damien. Yes. So they've made a Twitter account called Dart the Asteroid Slayer. And they put I'm about to ruin this asteroid's whole career. <laughs> Oh, that's brilliant. Right, guys, that that is our live stream done. They successfully hit the rock. Um, what, like, oh, that's mad. But yeah, there'll definitely be uh, quite a few, um, quite a few images coming out on Twitter. Uh, better, uh, better than speeding. <laughs> yes, speed was ter terrible. Better than speed in the YouTube game. Oh, he was terrible. Like, I know he's memed about being offside in, uh, you know, in in t on Twitter after the match, but, you know, I don't actually think he knew anything about football. <laughs> but, yeah, right, guys, uh, that is my stream today. Uh, I'm. Smeister. I hate him. Oh, I love. He's just. He's a new style KSI, um, with a bit more of an exaggeration. But yeah. Um. So that is my live stream for tonight. Uh, it's now thirty-five minutes past twelve in the morning for me. I've got to get up at seven, so I'm going to bed. All right. Thank you very much, everyone, for joining. Uh, uh, because I've broken something, I've got to do it by the computer. Right, <laughs> FIFA time. Okay, Mark, you have fun with that, and uh, I'm gonna wait Double for you. Smice, yeah, I'm gonna wait for FIFA that. Time. Right, I'm Lee. Fly safe, land safer. Ah, it's not going. There you go.